Last week, ASAP Rocky's former lawyer in Sweden was fired at, fired upon even, outside of his apartment in Stockholm, Sweden. Henrik Lilia, hope I'm pronouncing that, was the first to represent ASAP Rocky before being replaced by another legal team in the case, of course, where he claimed he was self-defense. Other people claimed he beat up a guy for no reason. Um, didn't face any jail time, it turned out. Just as somebody suggested that they weren't going to face jail time and that was the right thing for Sweden to do, which is to say, just don't come back. So I'll read a bit of the article for you here and then we'll get into some more stuff. Several people were taken into custody for questioning and one was later arrested by prosecutors. According to Stockholm Police, Sweden's Express a newspaper reports the suspect arrested is also a senior lawyer, a woman who had previously been banned from contacting him, contacting Lilia. A witness told the, pa- told the paper the shooter was a man who wrestled with the victim before opening fire. Prosecutors told the paper the person arrested, reportedly the woman, is suspected of inst- instigating attempted murder. It wasn't immediately clear whether the man who allegedly opened fire is also in custody. The witness told the paper the lawyer was bleeding but conscious. He was shot in the head and chest, the paper reports. Swedish police said on their website the shooting is being investigated as an attempted murder. They say it's an isolated incident with no known connection to recent violent crimes. So they're saying here that, one, the guy got shot. Two, that, uh, I'm not sure I mentioned it there, but he actually called the police and gave them pertinent information while he was shot. And then they're accusing a third girl of possibly being involved in it. She's got a history of... Some, she's got a history with police, and she's also been ordered not to uh, contact this Lelia guy either. So there's a few things we're working with here. But there's since been an update that says that the lawyer is recovering from the shots to head, which one, right? Head, chest, and abdomen. abdomen. So I assume now that G-Unit's going to sign him to a record contract. This guy survived three gunshots, including one to the head, and called police come get him, maybe that disqualifies him in the G-Unit uh, realm of ethics. But he was able to talk on the phone while, I don't know, I would assume possibly bleeding to death. The shooter, described by witnesses as a man who sped off in a black SUV, was still at large as of this week. So they still haven't caught the guy. And there's also an update on the woman they arrested who suspected of organizing the shooting via Hitman. Classic maneuver there. Here it goes. A woman, a former associate judge who had been banned from contacting Olson Lilia, that's his middle name, I guess, or hyphen, I don't know, the same guy, was arrested on suspicion of instigating the murder attempt by hiring a hitman. According to court documents seen by the local, she has on a previous occasion been sentenced for violently resisting a police officer. She appeared for a detention hearing at around noon on Monday after the prosecutor asked Stockholm District Court to to remand her in custody. Uh, okay, and denying the allegations. After deliberating, the court ordered the woman woman's release due to insufficient ev- evidence. The prosecutors appealed the court's decision to release the woman. So she's gone free, not enough evidence for her allegedly hiring a hitman, and they're still looking for the alleged hitman who wrestled with him, shot him three times, and now the woman's been released. So let me know what you think happened. Do you think this has anything to do with the ASAP Rocky case, again, he was hired by them and then dropped. And now, very soon after they uh, they got out of the country, he's been shot by some woman who also worked for the courts. So I don't know what you guys are thinking, but the police are saying it's not related to anything. Um, neither previous violent crimes, which I assume they are talking about the ASAP Rocky thing, and also not related to any gang shootings let's see what was that what was that they said um known connection to recent violent crimes i thought i read something about uh gang shootings or something like that but they're saying it has nothing to do with it i don't particularly believe that when a lawyer gets shot and a woman who's also involved with the courts and uh deemed not safe to hang around this man or to contact this man i have a hard time believing these things aren't connected so close to a court case that was so high profile that made a lot of people angry on both sides people were saying that uh sweden has i was saying that sweden has pretty weird uh justice system there where they hold you without being able to contact anybody for three days which seems like a uh, freeze out tactic and other people were mad saying that asap rocky was attacking uh, people that are just looking for somebody even though that clearly wasn't the case 
And then other people were mad, saying that it was a refugee thing, that they didn't want the Swedish refugees to look bad. So let me know what you think in the comments. ASAP Rocky related, is this guy or is he not a G for taking three gunshot wounds? I think that's subtled science. But let me know what you think. This has been Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you unless I'm in a Swedish court. I wouldn't lie in court. <laughs>